All right. Never mind. My name is Jared Campbell. I'm with the Coalition March on the RNC. I'm an organizer here in Tampa. And so, uh, you know, the coalition is leading the massive unified march uh, on the RNC on the opening day of the convention, which is August 27th. And that's one month from today. So today is a statewide day of action. Cities across Florida are, are participating in this. And so we're coming together to, to let people know that one month from today, you know, people will be here in Perry Harvey Park to demand good jobs, health care, affordable education, equality, and peace. And together we'll say no to the Republican agenda and the agenda of the 1%. And so now we're going to hear from a couple of people um, from around the state. First up is Corey Yule. He's an organizer with the coalition and also uh, organizer with the Tampa Bay SDS. My name is Corey Yule. I'm an organizer with Students for Democratic Society as well as a ranking file member of the International Brotherhood of Team Series of 79. And much like Jared said, we're going to gather here on Perry Harvey Park on August 27th, much like we're gathering here today. Except from that day, we're going to oppose the Republican agenda. And from there, we're going to take to the streets in order to with our five demands, which are affordable education, health care, good jobs, equality, and peace. It's taken us a little over a year to get to where we are today. Um, our permits, our permit request for Curtis Hickson Park was denied due to it being um, uh, reserved by the RNC host committee over two years ago. Uh, from there, we've launched a struggle against the more heinous limitations of the Clean Zone Ordinance, and this is all galvanized support for the coalition locally and nationally, which we saw on June 16th at our organizing conference. As far as August 27th, we have very uh, few expectations, but very important ones. We expect the city to make good on their promise to provide water for our protest, which they made about six weeks ago. and. This will help us deal with the heat. We also expect uh, TPD to not follow the example set by St. Paul and Chicago and welcome First Amendment rights in our city with great Southern hospitality. And with that, we will march with 5,000 of our closest friends, again, to oppose the Republican agenda and that of the 1% and to demand, as I said, good jobs, affordable education, health care, equality, and peace. Thank you.